We have all seen so many deadly wrong way crashes on our freeways. Well, new at five, efforts continue to be made across the valley to help alert authorities when wrong way drivers get on our streets. 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham has the latest on what's being done. When it comes to wrong way drivers, the problem is statewide. We've seen them all the way up on I-40. We've seen them all the way down in Yuma, all the way out on I-10 near the New Mexico border. Sergeant Eric Andrews is the DPS public information supervisor. He says these types of calls come in often and is always something they're ready to respond to. We have received special training to stop uh, wrong way drivers, whether through a pit maneuver or through something else. And so we do have that training, but as much as we can prepare for it, there's still very little that we can do to prevent injury in those cases. We take it very seriously here. Jesse Torres with the Governor's Office of Highway Safety says the number of annual cases statewide have stayed fairly consistent even with the Valley's increase in population. In 2023 there were 125 wrong way driving accidents in the state of Arizona and in 2024 it was 129. Still he says one crash is one too many. And we're doing everything we can you know working together with ADOT with the infrastructure with DPS with the Department of Liquor Licensing having a special task force to deal with this. That includes ADOT's thermal camera pilot project, which launched in 2018 along I-17. The department saying the technology can't prevent someone from going the wrong way, but in cases where seconds matter, it can help alert authorities quicker. Any amount of time earlier that we can be notified that somebody's potentially going the wrong way is going to be uh, another, even another second that we can hopefully respond and get them stopped before they hit somebody else. So any amount of time that we can gain on that is going to be huge. An ADOT spokesperson telling 12 News by 2022, more than 125 other freeway off-ramp locations had thermal camera detection installed. And they're continuing to add them. For example, in 2023, during the I-10 widening project between Verado Way and State Route 85 in Buckeye. Also recently, during the I-10 Broadway curb improvement project and Loop 101 widening projects in North Scottsdale and the Northwest Valley. Law enforcement say these cameras are a game changer, but another incredibly helpful tool our drivers themselves. Troopers are spread throughout the state and throughout the Phoenix metro area, whether it's here or anywhere else in the state. We will always respond. Like I said, everybody's going to respond that's available, but we cannot be everywhere all at once. So if you see a wrong way driver, please call it in. Studies show wrong way drivers are typically under the influence. It's why officials ask people who get behind the wheel to make responsible decisions. That way, the high number of wrong way crashes can hopefully come down. In Phoenix, Jay Cunningham, 12 News.